Hi, I'm Adrienne Shales, and I'm here with Dr. Henry Wright, and we are excited to talk about your new book. Dr. Wright's new book is Exposing the Spiritual Roots of Disease, Powerful Answers to Your Questions About Healing and Disease Prevention. This book's coming out this fall, October 15th, and we have many people Dr. Wright, that have already purchased it ahead of time. I'm excited. They're waiting for it. Yeah. And we want to talk to you today about different things related to the book. And one thing we wanted to ask you is what would you say are some of the primary differences from this book compared to your national longtime bestseller, A More Excellent mm. Way? Well, the original book, A More Excellent Way, was just an insight in the preface it says it is just an insight these are things that i observe and in the journey was to take us from lack of knowledge to some knowledge to help us take ownership of our lives and give some clear understanding uh, that has been very effective and and tens of thousands of copies of this book have been sold all over actually the world. Uh, over three hundred and fifty thousand copies wow. which really is very unusual for a self-published book. Yes. And it's traveled by word of mouth. It's mm -hmm. translated into other languages. Mm -hmm. And what I find so fascinating, when you read a book, it can be touching, it can be interesting, mm -hmm. it can be helpful. But you know how many people have told us as they read A More Excellent Way, and it's filled with scriptures, but it's mm -hmm. filled with learning to apply the scriptures, mm -hmm. that they had healing physical healing come to their lives and diseases left them yes. from reading and understanding um, and a, giving the application to well, those scriptures. The word says to know the truth, the truth shall make you free. That word make is a present progressive tense. So truth is like something that propels us from a starting point into a finishing point. And in between, we apprehend, we appropriate. And uh, I'm reminded so much of a scripture, he sent his word and healed them. And, and so that original book was just an eye opener. The one that we're, uh, this, the one coming out now, is more of an understanding of how do we get disease? And is it, is it a planned event? Is it happenstance? What's behind disease? So the new book unfolds the pathways. Uh, and a clear understanding really of 1 Thessalonians 5.23 and how it applies to us in spirit, soul, body. Then, I, then it takes us into specific classes of diseases and how they develop. Now I use the word how they develop. If we could stop the development, we wouldn't have the disease. Mm -hmm. Actually, I said for years, God's perfect will in Scripture is not to heal you. That's a bonus of the cross. His perfect will is that you don't get sick. That's built right into Scripture. So how do we, how do we take this disaster called disease? And, and Christians are not immune to the same diseases the world have. Well, I thought healing was a children's bread. So there's a disconnect here. Mm -hmm. And I think what God is doing with us, and especially with the first book, which was a, an insight, now we're coming into the pathway. Life is a journey. Life is a pathway. And the basis of who we are, our personalities, our persona, our personalities, may have been formed by something other than our own intellect. We may have been influenced. And those influences from within or from without may have caused us to, and how we think, speak, or act, to be something that the enemy uses to give us disease and disorders. So that's kind of, I think the book helps us understand a little further, is if this is a pathway and the result was disease, what if we altered the pathway to produce healing? Mm -hmm. Is God interested in healing? Oh, absolutely. So some of the disease classes, mention what those would be. 
Well, you, you, you have every part of your body. I mean, you've got your central nervous system and out of your central nervous system comes many syndromes. And then you have cancer is the big one. Then you have uh, depression, anxiety, PTSD. Anxiety disorders are, are incredible all over and around. Mm -hmm. So in, in this book, we develop, well, what is behind cancer? Is there, and, there's, and there's testimonies of healing. How did this person go? Now in the book, I, there's a testimony of a powerful testimony. It was well documented by the woman's own doctor. That's pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. How do you go from stage four terminal, cancer that has metastasized, ready to go hospice, dying, to totally cancer free, just by changing direction in one way of thinking and lining up with God's word? Could it be that simple, Adrian? Are we that close to prevention of disease and healing of disease, but no one has told us? No, it's all there in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I don't think we read the Bible. Right. Well, I know we've been reading. Well, and maybe we've read it and we didn't understand <laughs> maybe, what maybe, we were reading. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That's why we need teachers mm -hmm. to help us understand the correctness of how God thinks. Well, I think many people believe that if we're Christians... And we have the blessings that we're immune to the enemy and we're immune to disease. Yet, on the contrary, okay. there are as many Christians that have disease as non-Christians. Well, I don't want to sound negative, <laughs> but Christians have the same diseases as people that are non-Christians. And, uh, and I have to tell you, and I'm not here to do a Bible study. But if I were to do a Bible study, I would take you quickly to Scripture, and I can do it off the top of my head right now. But oh, go for to. it! Oh, I'd I'm love not to sure. hear. I want to keep them there. Okay. Because we maybe want just to, a little nugget. Just maybe a little nugget, is is that yes, healing is a children's bread, but is is it possible healing is conditional to obedience? I don't know that anyone has really made healing or receiving blessings from God conditional. But he did in his word. And what are those conditions? Well, those conditions, I have helped tens of thousands of people meet the conditions. And like, like the, the cancer case, the lady that was healed of stage four terminal cancer, she met the conditions. When she understood covenant, when she understood what God created and what he had in mind and relationship that we have, not just with him, but with each other. And she was brought to one conclusion. She said, amen. And she began to repent to God. And she began to take responsibility for that thing in her life that the enemy used to produce that massive cancer. So she made the shift in her heart she became a doer of the word. That's right. Could it be this simple? See, this book develops these pathways of thought. We're not taught how to walk in his ways. We're taught maybe, maybe we're good enough, we might get to heaven, or we don't want to go to the other place, and that's got to be a better place. So we kind of go through this journey like, well, just wandering, it's wandering. Just, and we become the unhappy wanderers, not happy wanderers. And we see all these promises in the Bible. And because they don't seem to be coming to pass, we make up doctrines why they're not here for mm -hmm. today. That's really bad news. Mm -hmm. Because we haven't understood the conditions of receiving. We don't want to create conditions because we consider it a negative concept. Well, then you haven't read your Bible because in the Bible, there are conditions to receiving. There are conditions to everything. It's called cause and effect. If from your heart, this is a cause and effect. If you from your heart do not forgive your brother his trespass, if, if. I heard the if. Hit, do you hear the if? I heard the if. Is that conditional? It is. 